let us understand the procedure for taking pilot operated pressure safety valve that is PSV out of line. Step 1. Take clearance from process engineer to take PSV 1 out of line. Please ensure that spare PSV should be available ready for installation at site which is required to be taken in line. If spare PSV is not ready at site then PSV which is already in line should not be dropped. Step 2. Take spare PSV in line before isolating the identified PSV which is to be dropped. Step 3. Remove the locks or car seals from the isolation valve 5 at upstream of PSV and isolation valve 2 at downstream of PSV which is to be dropped. Step 4. Fully close the upstream isolation valve 5 and then isolate pilot line B by fully closing valve 6 and after that fully close downstream isolation valve 2. Step 5. Isolate pilot tubing and then fully close purge valves 4 and 3. Step 6. Open the bleeder 8 at the upstream of PSV so as to confirm whether inlet isolation valve 5 holds or not. Step 7. Wait for 2 minutes as the hold up material will bleed that is pass in case valve 5 is passing. If valve 5 bleeds, then take the PSV back in line as per standard operating procedure. Step 8. When isolation valves 5 and 2 hold, then isolate pilot tubing isolation valve 6. Step 9. Keeping both the valves 5 and 2 tightly closed, drop the PSV and then blind both inlet and outlet of PSV. Also blind the pilot line. Please use BA set during the activity. Step 10. Put do not operate tags on isolation valves 5 and 2 of the PSV. Step 11. Update the status of PSV dropped or taken in line in logbook. Wish you safe working.